Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang introduction to differential equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, ngayon ay gagawa na ako ng series of videos for differential equations. So, dito sa differential equations, meron tayong iba't ibang ways on how to solve them. Depende sa type ng differential equations. So, maraming applications yung differential equations in real life. Halimbawa na lang dito yung sa mga equation of motions natin like acceleration, velocity, distance. Bumubuo tayo doon ng differential equation as well as sa mga circuits natin like uh, RC circuit, RL circuit, RLC circuit, etc. So, marami tayong differential equation na may encounter in real life. So, ngayon, i-define natin kung ano ba yung differential equation. So, from the word itself, differential equations, an equation which contains derivatives or differentials. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron tayong differential equation, makakakita tayo ng mga derivatives within the equation. Di ba usually kapag algebraic expressions, puro variable lang, x and y, or any variable, wherein wala tayong makikitang derivative such as yung dy over dx or y prime, right? Or simply differential dx saka dy. Kasi algebraic lang sila. But this time, kapag meron na tayong differential equations, makakakita na tayo ng mga ganitong notation sa ating equation. Okay, so ito nga yung mga examples of differential equations. So, lahat sila ay differential equations kasi kung mapapansin nyo, in two variables sila na y tsaka x at makakakita tayo ng dy over dx. Same as dito, two variables lang tayo na s at t at meron tayong differential na dt tsaka ds. Ito rin, two variables y and x, tapos makakita tayo ng derivatives na dy over dx. Okay? Tapos dito naman sa... Letter D, partial differential equation kasi meron tayong uh, derivative, partial derivatives of a, fun, of a letter, let's say Z, with respect to another variable, T. Okay? Then E, also partial differential equation kasi meron tayong notation na partial derivatives. Itong F, xy squared minus 2xy plus 3x to the fourth y minus 5 is equal to 0. Hindi siya differential equation. Sabi ko nga, algebraic equation lang siya kasi wala naman tayong nakitang differential or derivative notation sa equation. Okay? Now, our aim is to find methods for solving differential equations that is to find the unknown function or functions that satisfy the differential equation. So, just like sa algebraic equation, di ba, sinosolve natin yung value nung variable doon na magsasatisfy doon sa equation. This time, kapag meron na tayong differential equation, ang isosolve natin ay yung function na nagsasatisfy doon sa differential equation. So, equation yung magiging solution natin dito with a certain constant. Kasi nga, differential equation tayo. Para masolve yung differential equation, nag integrate tayo. Therefore, gumagamit tayo ng constant sa sagot. Okay, so, meron tayong iba't ibang methods para mag-solve ng differential equations base sa types ng differential equations. So, ito yung mga iba't ibang types of DE na pwede nating ma-encounter sa series of videos natin. We have the separable DE, exact DE, linear DE, homogeneous DE, constant coefficient DE. At within these types of DE, meron tayong iba't ibang techniques or method na gagamitin para mag-solve yung differential equations. Okay? So, lahat ng yun ay dadaanan natin at try kong magbigay ng maraming examples para mas maintindihan nyo at para mas ma-practice kayo sa pagsisolve ng differential equations. Okay? Now, sa differential equations, meron tayo tinatawag na independent variable at dependent variable. So, yung independent variable, when an equation involves one or more derivatives with respect to that particular variable. So, yung independent variable, usually, siya yung um, independent variable natin kung saan doon respect yung ating pagdiderivative. For example, Dito sa uh, example natin na differential equation, yung nasa denominator natin na dt or yung variable na ginamit natin ay t, siya yung independent variable kasi with respect doon sa variable yung pag-differentiate natin or yung derivatives natin. Okay? 
Tapos, dependent variable naman, a variable whose derivative occurs. So, siya yung mismong function na dinidirivative natin or hinahanapan natin ng differential equation. In this case, siya yung nasa numerator, which is, yung variable na ginamit natin dito ay yung i. Okay, so, di over dt, siya yung derivative ng dependent variable. Now, other than dun sa independent variable tsaka dependent variable natin na i tsaka t, meron tayong nakakitang mga other variables like L, R, C. So, ito yung mga variable na to, siya tinatawag, sila yung tinatawag nating mga parameters. So, usually, sa differential equation, constant value lang sila. Depende doon sa given problem. Okay? Next, ito naman example natin ay partial differential equation. So, yung dependent variable natin na consider dito ay yung V. Kasi yun yung hinahanapan natin ng derivatives. Kasi siya yung nasa numerator. At yung Independent variables natin, this time ay dalawa. Itong x saka y. Kasi sa kanila nakarespect yung hinahanapan natin na partial derivative. Kasi nasa denominator sila. Okay? Next, we also have the order and degree of a differential equation. So, yung order of DE, it is the order of the highest derivative that appears in the differential equation. Okay, so, itong mga example natin, hanapin natin yung order ng DE. So, Sabi, yung order, siya yung highest derivative nag-appear doon sa differential equation. So, di ba meron tayong higher derivative? Pwedeng y double prime, y triple prime, etc. So, dito sa notation natin na to, yung sa first example, d squared y over dx squared minus 5x dy over dx equals 2 e raised to x plus 1. Mapapansin nyo, yung derivative natin ay second derivative kasi meron tayong exponent na 2. Tapos, yung isang derivative natin ay dy over dx or first derivative lang. So, therefore, according sa definition ng order of DE, yung highest derivative daw dito sa DE na nag-appear, which is, ito nga yung second derivative of y with respect to x or y double prime. So, therefore, yung order nito ay 2. Okay? Ito naman, x sine y dx plus x squared cos y dy equals to 0. Obviously, mapansin natin yung mga differential niya, wala tayong highest exponent than 1, which is linear lang siya. O sabihin, first derivative lang. So, therefore, yung order natin dito ay 1. Next, d cube y over dt cube plus t dy over dt is equal to y squared t minus 3. So, obviously, yung highest degree or highest derivative na nag-appear dito ay 3. Kasi meron tayong third derivative of y with respect to t. So, therefore, the order is 3. Okay? Next, we have the degree of dE. So, if an ordinary differential equation can be written as a polynomial in the unknown function and its derivatives, then its degree is the power to which the highest order derivative is raised. Okay, so, paghahanapan naman natin yung degree of DE, titingin tayo doon sa exponent ng highest derivative na nag-appear. For example, dito sa A, 5x, uh, derivative of y with respect to x cubed minus 3y is equal to e raised to 2x. So, mapapansin nyo, isa lang naman yung derivative natin dito, which is yung dy over dx. Tapos, nakaray siya sa 3. So, therefore, yun na yung kakonsider natin order ng derivative, yung first derivative ng y with respect to x. At hanapin natin yung, yung degree non by looking at its exponent, which is 3. So, therefore, yung degree is 3. Okay? Next, second derivative of y with respect to x minus 3x, first derivative of y with respect to x to the fourth is equal to 2x squared plus 5. Okay, so, this time, meron tayong dalawang derivatives. Pero, titignan natin yung uh, order, yung highest derivative na nag-appear. Ano ba yun? Itong second derivative, right? So, therefore, yung degree natin ay yung exponent ng higher derivative na nag-appear dito sa equation, which is ito nga. Ano ba yung exponent ng d squared y over dx squared? Simply 1 lang, ba? Kasi, invisible naman yun. So, therefore, yung degree natin dito ay 1. So, hindi 4, ha? Kasi yung 4, hindi siya yung order ng DE natin kasi first derivative lang siya, eh. Although, mas mataas yung exponent nung uh, dy over dx sa d squared y over dx squared, kaso hindi naman siya yung order ng DE. So, sa so, ikukonsider muna natin kung ano yung, yung may mas mataas na derivatives na na-appear, and then, doon natin titignan kung ano yung exponent niya para malaman yung degree ng DE. Okay? Next, we have third derivative of s with respect to t plus t First derivative of s with respect to t raised to the fifth power equals 3t minus 4. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang derivatives. So, check muna natin kung saan nag appear yung higher derivatives. Diba dito, which is third order siya kasi naka-derivative tayo 3 times with respect to t sa s. 
So therefore, hanapin natin yung exponent. Saan ba nakaraise yung d cube s over dt cube? Sa 2, right? So therefore, yung degree natin ay 2. Again, hindi natin pipiliin yung mas mataas na exponent dun sa derivative na 5. Kasi hindi naman dito nakalagay yung degree natin for the de. Okay? Now, we also have the so-called linear and non-linear de. So, an ordinary differential equation of order n is called linear if it has the form a sub 0 of x d raised to n y over dx raised to n plus a sub 1 of x d raised to n minus 1 y over dx n raised to n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus a sub n minus 1 dy over dx plus a sub n of x times y equals f of x. Otherwise, if it can't, then it is nonlinear. So, Observe nyo lang lagi kung yung di ba natin ay nagko-conform sa ganitong form. So, dapat meron kayong derivatives and then meron kang nakatabi doon or nakamultiply sa kanya na function of x. So, pababa ng pababa yung order ng di hanggang mapunta ka doon sa 0 degree or yung hindi nakaderivative. Tapos, dapat yung katabi nila lahat ay function of x, right? Tapos, dito sa right side, pwede ka rin magkaroon ng function of x. Okay? So, kapag isa dito sa form natin na to ay na-violate, automatic hindi na siya linear DE. Okay? So, dy over dx plus p of x, y is equal to q of x. So, obviously, so meron tayong highest order na 1 dito kasi meron tayong dy over dx and then bumaba tayo sa 0 degree. Tapos, meron tayong katabi na function of x doon sa dalawa. So, dito 1 lang, ba? Dito p of x. Tapos, dito sa Right side, meron din tayong Q of X. So, therefore, linear to. Next, we have Y dy over dx minus 2X squared Y equals X cubed minus Y. So, check natin. So, yung derivatives natin dito ay nag-start from 1 until it reach 0. Right? So, yung Q of X natin, meron tayong function na X cubed minus 1. So, correct. Tapos, dito sa Y natin, meron tayong function na negative 2X squared, which is a function of X. Tapos, Itong dy over dx natin, kung mapansin nyo, hindi siya function of x kasi y siya. So, therefore, na-violate yung, yung form ng linear differential equation natin. So, therefore, hindi siya linear. So, therefore, non-linear itong de natin. Kasi nagkaroon tayo ng function of y dito, na nakamultiply dito sa dy over dx natin or yung order natin ng de. Okay? Next, 5t, third derivative of x with respect to t, Plus 2t squared, first derivative of x with respect to t, minus x sine t is equal to 0. Okay, so yung dependent variable natin this time ay x. Tapos yung independent natin ay t. So check natin yung mga derivatives. So nag-start tayo sa third degree, then bumaba sa first degree, and then bumaba sa 0 degree. So tama. Now check naman natin kung functions of t lang ba yung mga katabing expression doon sa bawat derivatives natin. So, dito sa third derivative, meron tayong 5t, so tama. Tapos sa first derivative, meron tayong 2t squared, so tama. Function of t lang. Tapos dito sa x, meron tayong sin t, so function of t lang. So, correct. Dito tayo sa right side. 0 yung nasa right side, which is, pwede rin consider na function of t, which is equal to 0. So, therefore, correct then. So, therefore, linear itong de natin. Okay? Next, we have x, second derivative of z with respect to x plus 4x cubed, first derivative of z with respect to x minus square root of z, cosine x is equal to 5x squared minus 3. Okay, so yung dependent variable natin dito ay z, or siya yung kinoconsidera natin ng derivatives. Tapos yung independent variable natin dito ay x naman. Tignan natin yung mga derivatives kung mula sa taas o pabababa yung order. So we have second derivative, correct? First derivative, correct? Tapos... This time, mapapansin nyo, naka-square root yung 0 degree natin dun sa dependent variable na z. Therefore, nalabag niya agad yung form ng linear de natin kasi dapat hindi tayo naka-raise dito sa fraction, dapat. which is dapat 0. Okay? So, therefore, automatic hindi siya linear. So, non-linear itong de. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-analyze ng different terminology sa de. Pwede nyo mahanap yung order niya. Tapos, pwede nyo mahanap yung degree as well as kung ma-identify kung linear ba siya o hindi. Okay, so marami tayong gagawing series of videos for DE, particularly 
uh, yung iba't ibang methods, yung iba't ibang types of D at iba't ibang methods kung paano ma-attack yung bawat D na yon. So, abangan nyo lang yung series of videos ko about differential equations para mas matuto tayo sa pagsasolve ng differential equations. Okay? So, that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.